Hello friends and welcome to Lakalama YouTube channel. I'm Natasha and I will be your host today. I come to you from Manitoba, Canada, where I live with my family. And today is a really nice warm day, which is very unusual for beginning of March. It's minus one and we're uh, on the road, snow a bit melting and we have this beautiful bright sun, with it, which is perfect for recording a video, but which is also warming up this house very much. So I couldn't wear today my woody sweater, uh, but I decided to wear this uh, top. It's called Ranunculus, which I knitted out of 100% cotton yarn. And usually I wear this top in summer, um, but today was such a nice warm sunny day that I showed, I saw this yellow uh, sunny top will be perfect for this episode. So in today's episode, I would like to share with you my finished object, <laughs> objects, which will be only one. Uh, also on February 25th, I had birthday, so I got some presents as well. So I would like to share you with you some of my presents. I had also one small yarn wool inquiry that I also would like to show you today. And also I'd like to show you all my multiple VIPs that I have on my needles. But before we dive into that whole topic, I would like to share with you my little trick what I used to be uh, very productive in knitting and also in housekeeping. Uh, so how it all started, like I remember uh, like in earlier days when I was knitting non-stop, like I had often this imbalance, like, you know, I would just sit down and knit, 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 knit for a couple days and I have uh, lots of work piled up in the house that I would have to do and then I would knit. And the problem was also like when I was knitting, I was thinking about my housework, like dishes or sweeping floor or, or other things. And when I would clean up or do dishes, I would think about my knitting. So it felt like I always I didn't have peace of mind. Like, you know, I was always wanted to be in a different place rather than enjoying my activity, what I was doing at the moment. So that was a problem. And second, um, uh, kind of situations that provoke <laughs> me thinking more about like how I knit and how I do it. Like, because when I went to visit my chiropractor and while uh, he was working on my kids, I was sitting, waiting for them and knitting. And then he mentioned to me that in his experience of being chiropractor, he sees very often knitters who come to him and say like, oh, can you crack my back? Oh, can you help me with this muscle or that muscle? Like it's so tense or I have pinched nerve. And he would say, oh, wow, what happened? And they would say, oh, I was knitting this project or this sweater for my granddaughter or I was knitting this top for myself. I really wanted to wear it the next day. So I was knitting, knitting, knitting not stop for many many hours and now I can't straighten my back or my nervous pinched or stuff like that so he gave me a really um, good piece of advice so when I need I should take breaks like he said need like you know 15 or 30 minutes and after that please get up do some exercise do some other activities before you sit down and keep knitting like don't knit for many many hours because it's just not healthy not for your mental health not for your body so that brought me to ideas that i decided to create a balance uh for myself so what i did like in those days when i and I'm not sure what I want to do. I'm not happy here. I'm not happy there. So what I did, I just set up timer for 15 minutes. So I would set up timer 15 minutes, like, you know, 15 minutes, I'll be knitting. And I would just sit and knit. And if my thoughts would go about, like start thinking about dishes or floors or laundry, like, you know, I would just keep telling myself, like, you know, at this moment, this 15 minutes, I'm just enjoying my knitting. I, I enjoy, my needles, I enjoy the wool, I enjoy my project, and you know, all my thoughts, everything would be in my knitting. And then when timer goes on, then I would set up timer for another 15 minutes, and I would go and do like dishes or sweep floor or any other moving activity, which would help me to exercise my muscles, but also do something very useful in a house. And in those days, I accomplished so much in my knitting, and I accomplished so much in my uh, housework and 
that is like very very good like for your mind for your physical body uh, because you have this healthy balance and maybe for you 15 minutes and 15 minutes won't work maybe you don't have that much uh, attention span maybe you want to do five and five ten and ten minutes or maybe it's too quick for you right maybe you want to do 30 minutes and 30 minutes 40 minutes and 40 minutes or maybe you want to need for 40 minutes and clean up for 20 minutes or do exercise or go for a walk so that you need to listen to your body and decide what's the best for your body so for me it works the best 15 minutes at the time and I don't do it all the time like you know some days I just feel I wait up and I feel in my mind so organized so productive those days I don't need the help from a timer but on other days I do and it just it been working so perfect for me and also like one of my friends after hearing my story she told me there is actually a book uh, which is uh, called like a tomato method like you know those tomatoes that you twist and like they're timers but they look like tomatoes so it's kind of like you twist tomato timer for 30 minutes and you concentrate on one activity and then you do something else so it's been working really great for me with my knitting and balancing my life so i thought i would share with you it today maybe it will help some of you too because like you know after a long winter spring coming and we really want to be outside and we want to knit and we want to be in a garden and do so many things and that's how we can divide and accomplish so many things in short period of time so that's my speech about <laughs> productive knitting so, and now let's uh, move into my finished objects because it's only one today. So I finished a pair of socks. I've been knitting a lot, but I didn't finish anything particular. So uh, this uh, one sock was ready, I think, in the previous podcast, but then I finished the other one and I had exactly the same amount of yarn that I needed. Uh, but, and I thought I would have exactly um, identical socks but as you can see uh, there went um, difference on a heel so probably was a little bit different metrage and also here we had a um, yarn break so socks are not identical but the cuffs are and it's good enough now they're waiting for warmer weather and I'm planning when my son will start wearing rubber boots <clears throat> then can he can wear the socks to school or wherever he goes. I think it would be just so great and perfect. And he also requested already second pair, which would have like, you know, bright like nyan colors. And I'm planning to knit it for him, uh, but not for the ways, of course. <laughs> uh, okay, so now let's move to different section, um, which will be related kind of to knitting and spinning. So on February 25th, I had my birthday and I got some presents. Uh, first present, I would like to show you its yarn. I got two big balls of yarn there. Each of them is 300 grams and it's, it has 201 meters and it's this beautiful, beautiful color, color number, uh, our number 04903 and my sister gifted me these two balls of yarn so I would knit myself a little afghan maybe a lab blanket or for how much this yarn would be enough and actually this yarn by its color palette fits perfectly into my knitting room so that's what I'm planning to do maybe not for the waist uh, but I'll knit myself a little Mm, Afghan for my knitting room and I think it will be so cute and beautiful and when I knit I can cover my lap and just be warm and cozy. Uh, <clears throat> second of all my friend uh, she lives in uh, a little bit far away <laughs> like 10 hours away I'm driving on the car and she sent me also a care package she's a knitter and she always gets uh, me the most <laughs> uh, valuable and like you know to the dot like perfect presents for my knitting so and um actually like before my birthday on february 24th i couldn't fall asleep 
Oh, I was a bit nervous, as a, maybe as you can hear from my accent, um, I'm not <laughs> born Canadian, so I moved from Ukraine to Canada. And uh, February 24th, it was exactly a year when war in Ukraine started, like when Russia attacked Ukraine. And uh, so I was, um, I didn't have much peace that uh, evening because I was worried about Ukraine and how it would go, like, you know, about my family and stuff. And I felt like, you know, I really want to spin some yarn. But <laughs> the problem was I just finished, like, whatever wool I had, I spin it all up. So I didn't have any. I ordered some more from Knit Picks, but it wasn't at my house yet. So, and I was lying down in my bed and really thinking about spinning. And then my friend texted me at 12.30 in, at night and she told me, okay, how about you go and open your present? And I said like, now in the middle of the night? So I did, I opened the present and that's what I found in it. And I recorded a small piece, which I would like to show you what was in there. As you can see, I got this beautiful package with a card that says, pick this special gift for you. <laughs> Super cute, love it so much. And also there was some yarn and some fleece top for spinning. So I was uh, super excited about that. So let's start with the fleece. Uh, this beautiful fleece is 80% merino wool and 20% rainbow nylon sparkles. This yarn is so gorgeous, uh, so beautiful. I was just so excited that I uh, couldn't wait. And I thought like, you know, I need to take a piece and start spinning right now at night. And that's what I did. So and here I would like to show you, I spun like maybe five grams of it, but look how beautiful it looks, such a nice rainbow and just so beautiful. And now I would like to show you the yarn. So this gorgeous fluffy yarn and you can see metallic thread is in the middle and it shines so beautifully and I love this color so much and it's by Jodie Long and it has 53% alpaca 21 merino wool and then polyester and metallic and it's just so gorgeous and I can't <laughs> wait I will cast on today a cardigan out of this yarn because it's just so beautiful so gorgeous and I got five balls of them so as you saw in this little episode I got this gorgeous beautiful uh, wool uh, this wool is from a store called Wool of Wool from England and this is Merino wool 80% and 20% this rainbow beautiful nylon that come together and this top, this wool is so beautiful, is so nice and when I opened it <laughs> right in the middle of the night I started to spin uh, and I was spinning this yarn and here you I have 50 grams so altogether it was 100 grams so I have 50 grams on my spindle and I have 50 grams that I will also spin and I don't know what I'll need out of it like uh, I think I'll do double stranded thread so I have one strand and I'll just need to unwind it on a different pipe like usually I use pipe from paper towels or stuff like that and then I'll spin other 50 grams and I'll, then I'll attach them together and after it, uh, I uh, twist them together I think it will make a really nice shawl but maybe 50 like 100 grams won't be enough so I'll see maybe I will do color work or stripes with the other yarn or I'm not sure I'm a new spinner so I'm not sure what to do but I know that I'll do something out of this beautiful gorgeous yarn 
and as you all probably remember from the previous episode I started to spin yarn so this one was first one and then second one and the third one <laughs> and then fourth one like this so I spun all 110 grams of merino color hand dyed merino wool tops that I had so I spin it all up but I knew that I want to do double strand to ply and I knew that I don't want to ply this bright yarn together I knew that I want to buy um, maybe undyed uh, top merino wool and maybe or dye it in some kind of color or just pin white and just uh, twist this one strand of this colorful uh, yarn with one strand of white so I keep it like this <laughs> like that after I finished knit, uh, spinning this colorful yarn I realized that the knitting, uh, spinning will be part of my life and I love it so much uh, so I decided to go on a side net knit picks and order some wool from there because I know they sell wool and yarn that is not dyed for people who have yarn dyeing business who can go and buy it there so I decided uh, to buy this bear yarn it's 80% merino wool and 20% nylon why I decided to go with uh, wool with nylon because I wanted to keep its shape and um, yeah, so it would keep some shape, not just merino wool that will uh, kind of drape too much. Uh, so I got this yarn uh, wool and I <laughs> divided it into four balls, like 25 gram balls, but you see only three here because I spun already 25 grams and it went so fast because um, I decided to check out the second spindle that I bought. I bought two spindles from same maker, uh, but one spindle, the first one that I showed you, circle one, it's, it is very light and this one is much heavier and bigger and I thought I would buy it for um, plying yarn but after I tried to spin on this spindle I love it so much it spins for so long so I have enough time to prepare wool for it and it spins so much faster I'm just in love with the spindle and I'll spin so much more yarn <laughs> and then also I was brave enough and I actually ordered yarn sweater quantity again yarn see I'm a new spinner so for me it will take a while until I call this wool or top or rowing <laughs> I just call it yarn because I almost see it like as a yarn already in my head and this one is less uh, a little bit different one it's called gloss and it's 70 percent merino wool and 30 percent mulberry silk so this one is very luxurious very soft and yarn and garment will be very drapey and really nice and soft and i'm not sure will i uh, spin two ply or three ply yarn i'm not sure yet because i'm so new to it like after i Mm, well make two kinds of yarns to ply uh, then I can make decision about this one if it will be three ply or two ply <laughs> so also as you all know on the sites that sell yarn and other knitted related things they have this little hook that called if you order for a certain amount you will get free shipping <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of you love this feature I love it too so uh, after I ordered 500 grams of wool I had to take these two guys uh, they were in on my wish list for a long long time especially this beautiful color which called Charlotte and this yarn is alpaca cloud I knitted out of this yarn already three years ago I combined this yarn this one strand of alpaca with one strand uh, of kid silk and I use drops kid silk and I have the sweaters that I wear for three years and I love this fabric and my hand always reaches uh, for that sweater that's why I thought I should have more sweaters 
uh, with that type of fabric. So, and I knew that the two will be enough. And I, anyways, I'll start knitting sweater top down and then we'll see how much yarn it uses, like what, which lengths of sleeves and body will be. Uh, but this is, um, so it's Charlotte, it's 440 yards for 50 grams. And this yarn is so beautiful. The color is so gorgeous. And I actually had in my stash two different shades of pink that I thought would go together with this yarn really nice. But when I put them together, I realized that this yarn is kind of on a cold palette and my pinks were on a warm color. And I almost thought that I'll have to order kid silk yet, but then I saw that I have white colorway 01, uh, it's chalk uh, from uh, Drops uh, Kid Silk, and it's cold white. And when I put them together, they were perfect. So that's what I'll use. So I don't have to buy more kit silk, but I can use kit silk from my stash together with this beautiful alpaca, baby alpaca lace yarn. And it will give me a very beautiful top that I'm sure I'll wear a lot. And then I got these two balls. You saw this, uh, if you were watching my previous videos, you saw that I already previously ordered three balls of this uh, pink, it's called Hibicus, and three balls of matcha green color. And this yarn is so beautiful, it's so soft and so gorgeous. And it has 45% alpaca, 35% merino wool, and 20% linen. And look at these stunning colors. And I wanted to knit half and half wrap out of this yarn. But when I received it, I realized that balls are 50 grams, not 100 grams. So now when I was ordering yarn, I thought I'll get one of each more because I started to knit half and half wrap already out of this yarn. And I don't know how much yarn I'll need, how much it take will take. But I decided to uh, order one of each and then after I knit out all four balls of same color, I could approximately see like do I need two more balls or just one or maybe it would be enough. I'm not sure. But I'm knitting um, half and half wrap of by Pearl Soho on 3.5 millimeter needles and fabric. Oh my God, it creates such a nice fabric. I'll show it to you in my VIP section. And last two balls of yarn that I got is this one. This one actually a new yarn from Knit Peaks. They just got it now, probably for spring collection. And it's called uh, Volier, if I'm reading it correctly. But it's lace weight yarn. It's about um, 275 yards for 50 grams. And this one called Rose Finch colorway. And this one, fairy red. And colors are stunning. And also how this yarn feels, it's just amazing. Uh, so it's 30% mulberry silk, 40% linen, and 30% baby alpaca. So I, I ordered two balls because I thought maybe I can make a crop top or maybe a very light summery top on spaghetti straps. Um, and also I can order more more, ball, more balls of same color or different color, but I want to need a small swatches and I want to try 2.5 millimeter needles and uh, just to have like fine fabric. And I also want to try four or five millimeter needles and maybe need just like a web like summer top that I will wear underneath. I would just wear cotton tank top. So, but this yarn is gorgeous, <laughs> soft and beautiful. I'm so happy I got it. So that was my yarn inquiries. So right now on my needles, I have two pairs of socks. One pair of socks I keep in my car. So, and I forgot to bring them in here, but it's the socks that you saw already with pink stripes and yarn is Alicia Superwash sock and I'm knitting second sock already and I'm close to the heel. So I'm really hoping next in my next episode you will see a finished um, object 
sock and second pair of socks that are on my needles from this Christmassy yarn uh, from Hobby. It's called uh, Christmas Sock Wool Glitter. And you saw already one sock that I finished. It's quite long. And I'm starting to work on the second one. See, just a, just a small beginning, but I'll be working on it. And I, I really hoping that next time I'll show you both <laughs> pairs finished. That would be fun. And to have different one on needles because I have uh, so, so much uh, beautiful sock yarn, which I'm so eager to cast on. Okay, so my next uh, works in progress, it's a uh, uh, jumper that I'm knitting out of this cashmere yarn, also that I purchased at Hibicus Filati, and I gifted this yarn for myself for New Year, and it's 90% cashmere and 10% seta silk, and it's a super beautiful yarn, Italian yarn on cone, and I was knitting sweater out of it, uh, just totally freestyling and I have sleeves are done both sleeves and I started to work on a body and here as you can see I have stitch markers and I have only 20 rows left and then I'll do ribbing probably same like on the sleeves and then I can wash it and it would be done and I was I was hoping that this video I would be recording wearing this beautiful cashmere top but as you can see it's not done yet so hopefully next time we see each other i'll greet you in next three works in progress it's all three of them are new so it means you didn't see them so i cast them on after i saw you last so this is uh, one of the three projects next one that i will show you it's a half and half wrap that I'm knitting out of this beautiful yarn that I just showed you that I purchased two more balls. And <laughs> are you ready to see? It's I'm knitting on 3.5 millimeter needles. So it's like very fine and goes very slowly, but it's um, just such a fun project to work on. And you can see. You can see how long it is already i cast on a bit smaller amount of stitches because uh, so i have 210 stitches here and as you can see here i have this um, triangle started already so and it will just go keep going like this and fabric that this yarn create is like so gorgeous and beautiful and soft and comfortable and all the good words you can use uh, you can use for this yarn and I so I have four balls of this color and four balls of the other color and if I need to buy more to finish this uh, shawl I will because I think it worth it worth it <laughs> and I think I will love it and I will wear it a lot like after I'm done because fabric is really nice and gorgeous i don't know i just love it so much so next project that i started it's also pink i'll have looks like i'll have a lot of pinks so uh, because spring should be here soon <laughs> and all my hats and tukes that i have they are double layered and from alpaca and one a tuk i have it's angora rabbit yarn so it's like they both like very warm and i decided that i need something brighter and something lighter for spring so i have this um, tweet from hobby it's 100 percent recycled fiber so it's 80 percent or yeah 80 or 70 percent wool and 30 or 20 percent viscose and this yarn is so soft i think it's like a merino wool and it has uh, this beautiful speckles and i say i believe it's in 100 grams 350 meters <clears throat> so i'm using one strand of this yarn second strand i'm using i had some leftover kit silk from drops i i believe it's color zero nine uh, i used it in my love note sweater and then from last ball i used maybe five or five grams or something like that so and i had leftover just one ball and i thought it would be enough for a hat so i'm planning to pair those two up and 
Of course, I need to add some sparkle to this hat. <laughs> so this um, uh, metallic yarn I bought like also from Hobby. It's a 30 grams cone, but it has 2,100 meters. So it's really, really fine thread. And it's very, very pleasant to knit with because I wasn't sure uh, would it always slip? Would, would I always lose a stitch in the sparkly yarn? But no, like those three goes together very well and really nice and comfortable to work with and knit. So, and I started to knit my hat. <laughs> so it would be just a, a simple two by two hat with one, um, it will fold once, folded brim. And I use a beautiful stitch marker from a company called Knit Markers. I think they're based in Europe. And that's what kind of fabric it creates. It has like this very gentle sparkles, sheen to it. But I don't know, it's just a perfect combination of these yarns. So I hope I'll have this beautiful pink hat for spring and I hope I will enjoy it very much because I really want something refreshing and something fresh and springy. And my last project is out of this yarn that I just got for my birthday and I couldn't resist not to cast it on because yarn is, has sparkle, it's super soft, it's fluffy and it's amazing. And I tried to, to swatch a little bit with it. I tried different um, lace patterns and I also tried pattern from um, Big Rom, Big Rhombus cardigan or fluffy rom, rhombus rectangle rectangle cardigan so i tried that to swatch but it doesn't look very good like holes <laughs> look funny looks funny so then after tries i decided to knit just in stock and at stitch and this cardigan i'm also totally freestyling so sorry i can't um, share pattern because i'm just picking up stitches and knitting and so it has a rather ways um how it's called Ah, oh, I forgot. It's okay. <laughs> so I knitted front and back and I have this ball here left, which I will knit down. I used one ball for a sleeve and I didn't cast it off because I want to finish second sleeve and then try it on and see if sleeves are too long. Then I want to shorten them right the ways and knit all the rest of the yarn down. And I also started second sleeve here. And after I finish second sleeve, I'll try it on and then I'll keep uh, knitting <laughs> down body. And I'll have two big buttons on it. Uh, just I had coconut buttons. I, I believe they're like four <laughs> centimeters in diameter. So they're quite big, but they, I think they'll look super cute on this yarn. And then I'll have this super warm, cardi warm cardigan that probably I can use as a spring jacket or something like that. So I'm super excited about all my projects. I love to knit and I love all my projects and I'm super excited to work on them. And I hope when I see you next time, I'll have more finished objects. And thank you all of you who are leaving comments under my video because it creates a com community. And then I can get to know you a bit more and tell me um, how you feel in spring. What are you knitting? Did you start knitting already summer projects or you're still working on your warmer stuff? So I think like next, like March and half of April, I will probably still be working on woolly items. And like second part of April, probably I'll start knitting my some summery tops, I hope, <laughs> because I really want to knit a few of the summery ones this uh, year as well. So it was nice talking to you and I hope to see you soon again. Bye.